Hala saying the power of Britain's natural energy is one of the ways the country could guarantee a low carbon future. Plans to build a power generating tidal barrage across the Severn estuary are among some of the most ambitious and the most controversial. Sky's environment correspondent Catherine Jacob reports. It may look pretty, but these are troubled waters. A war has been raging over them between environmentalists and environmentalists. Yes, the Green Lobby is divided over whether a barrage should be built across the Severn, the latest offensive from a coalition of ten conservation groups. In the distance there, you can see the spur going out to Lavernock Point. So you've got Penarth Head there, Cardiff Bay. They commissioned a report from an economic consultancy which concludes the £15 billion dam would be economically unviable. The barrage, if it were to go ahead, would be a very expensive option for harnessing the power of the estuary. And this estuary, in fact, is one of the most important sites in the world for wading birds. And it's a fantastic site for the habitat that it provides and we want it to stay that way. So how would it work? Well, water would rush through sluices as the tide rises. The water would then be held behind the barrage as the tide drops and would be allowed to flow out, driving more than 200 turbines to create electricity. The timing of the tides is predictable, so the energy source would be relatively reliable. The 10-mile concrete barrage would stretch from Breen Down in Somerset to Lavernock Point in Cardiff. But if it goes ahead, the Newport Wetlands, for example, which is one of Europe's richest bird tables, would be devastated. So here's the dilemma. While those who've commissioned the study are all for renewable energy, they say the economic argument supports the conservation case. And they claim the barrage should be stopped because it would wreck this whole landscape and an ecosystem that protects tens of thousands of birds. Back in December, though, the Sustainable Development Commission said a barrage may be feasible if it's state-funded, and many other environmentalists agree it's necessary. We know and we're much more aware what the seven barrage implications are, but we need to look at the whole thing. We can't, you know, we can't say, well, we don't want that and we don't want coal power stations and the carbon capture of coal and we don't want nuclear, because actually, if we're all going to have the energy we need, we need at least some of those things. The government's currently carrying out a feasibility study into the barrage, which, if it goes ahead, could take at least a decade to build. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News, Newport.